Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Inside Career Technical Education. I'm Ann Baldwin, one of the hosts of this program. And I'm the other host, <laughs> Jim Beluga, President and CEO of YTI Career Institute and Porter and Chester Institute. And we have a big announcement. We do. No, I'm not having a baby. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have a new program to talk about, and it's coming soon. Uh, it's going to be an all online program at YTI Career Institute. We're so excited to talk about it. It's a cybersecurity program, and the man behind it is Adam Fate, Director of Learning and Design at YTI Career Institute. And uh, Adam, welcome, and thanks for joining us to tell our viewers more about this great program. We're so excited. Yeah. Thank you, Ann. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate the invite. Yeah. So, um, so why don't we just get right into yeah. it, Adam? Um, y y the, the, the program uh, we've been talking about for a while, and uh, given all the um, activity that happens in our daily lives, mm -hmm. um, there's uh, not a day that doesn't go by where there's not some form of uh, cyber um, attack, cyber attack, cyber Breach, security, yep. cyber, cyber this, cyber that. And, um, and uh, Adam and I and, and, and some others talked about um, you know the genesis of this program a, a bit a bit ago, and um, we did we did look at this program um, I would say probably five to seven years earlier, and I think we were just probably just a little too early to the you know to the marketplace in general, and that it it hadn't really taken off, mm -hmm. and um, and I'm really excited that uh, Adam and our our team. Uh, got this project refocused. Well, and, and it takes time, right? Not yeah. to interrupt you, Jim, yeah. but I, you know, I want people <clears throat> to know too that you know these programs just don't appear; they don't just pop up. Right. You know, Adam can talk about the curriculum that has been created. You know, the real life experience that these students are going to have, right. and those types of things, and the fact that it is all online. It's got that flexibility component for sure. folks to, and there's also, but there are some pre-qualifications to get into this program, so right. we have a lot to talk about. Yeah, yeah, no, and, and, and if you look at just the employment demand, I mean, that's okay. that's sort of how we start with many of our programs. We end up, you know, talking to folks out in the in the field who are, um, you know, who, who employ our graduates, and um, <clears throat> if you look at the BLS data, the Bureau of Labor Statistics data, um, you know, this is a field that's expected to grow, you know, in, you know, in, you know, double digits you know for the for the next you know 10 years mm -hmm. um you know again the statistic is like 35 percent from 21 to 31. so you know that's pretty robust and 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 if you just take a look at, in any sort of job uh, site these days employment job site um there's uh there's a plethora of of opportunities for right. cyber security. well it's involved in everything it's involved so. in banking education i mean you name it so adam yep. why don't you tell us a little bit about and tell our our viewers a little bit about this program and what it really entails. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Um, so the cybersecurity program is a 20-month program, so in as little as 20 months, uh, folks can graduate with uh, an associate's degree in specialized technology in cybersecurity. Um, this program gives folks an opportunity to also achieve several industry certifications in cybersecurity. Those would be the cyber, uh, the Security Plus certification from CompTIA and the Cybersecurity Analyst Plus certification, uh, which these are, are both certifications that are highly sought after uh, in the market. Uh, one is an entry level certification, the other is an intermediate level certification. Um, we're really excited about the cybersecurity curriculum, as, as Jim kind of alluded to. Um, and, and you did as well, Ann, is uh, curriculum development is very nuanced. Uh, we really start with market demand, and we see what jobs are, are in demand right now and will be in demand in the future. Um, and obviously, cybersecurity is booming right now. Um, but we also talk to a lot of industry experts. We have experts internally that we consult with as we're building these curriculums, so we are sure uh, that our students come out with an industry modeled education that's going to lead to uh, potentially entry level employment in the field. Um, so, the cybersecurity program specifically, uh, we cover a lot of different areas within the cybersecurity domain. Uh, we start off talking about the fundamentals of network security. Uh, so, students will become acquainted with uh, the applications, the hardware that's used, the practices um, associated with cybersecurity. Uh, we also talk about mobile security. Mobility is becoming bigger and bigger uh, mm -hmm. within the United States, so we talk about securing mobile devices. 
Uh, we talk about cloud security. Uh, we even get into a concept called ethical hacking, where we kind of put the students in the driver's seat of the bad guy, so to speak, um, and uh, teach them how to identify vulnerabilities, uh, whether it be in applications or the organization's network, so they can identify those and fix those uh, before somebody with nefarious intentions uh, gets into the network and does the same thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also talk about scripting, uh, which is huge in cybersecurity. We talk about data forensics. Um, and then we talk about compliance, which is uh, absolutely huge in cybersecurity. Mm-hmm. And then we round out the program with some coverage of cyber terrorism and cyber warfare, which is becoming uh, even more prominent in the field of cybersecurity. And we see that over the past five years with a lot of state actors kind of dipping their toes into uh, cyber warfare. Yeah, no, there's a there's a lot to unpack yeah. there. And um, before we before we get into some of that those details, um, you know, Adam, maybe we could uh, just for our viewers and listeners uh, just share with them. Uh, some of the, I'll call it the prerequisites or the expectations that we would have for a student coming into this program. Um, uh, again, I, I know we this is a little bit different than many of our programs where we do have some uh, prerequisite requirements in terms of academic credits and and, uh, and or uh, job experience. So maybe you could talk a little bit about that and then just talk about um, you know what a week would look like for a student in, in terms of uh, setting aside time uh, so that uh, we can paint a picture for prospective students. Yeah, absolutely. So as far as prerequisites are concerned, uh, an applicant into the cybersecurity program should either have um, 18 academic credits that they earned previously um, to applying to the cybersecurity program, or we ask that they have at least one year of professional experience in information technology. So we want to see either 18 prior academic credits in IT or one year of experience in IT. Um, and that really permits these folks to hit the ground running with the cybersecurity concepts. They could focus exclusively on these very critical cybersecurity concepts within the program. Um, now, what, what an, a week would look like for a typical student, uh, they should expect to spend anywhere from five to six hours a day um, either reading material, going through simulated a- uh, activities, engaging in discussion questions, engaging with uh, their peers online uh, through the learning platform. Um, so it's going to, going to be about a five to six hour day commitment. So you're looking at anywhere from 25 to 30 hours a week that mm-hmm. uh, prospective students should expect to spend on their academic activities. Yeah, so it's so it's a it's it's a robust program, mm-hmm. and you really absolutely yeah you really have to make sure that you've got uh, you know the time in your schedule uh, to 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 devote to, to work, this yeah. yeah to devote to this and um and and you know so our viewers you know Adam talked about eighteen at least eighteen uh, prior academic credits so for folks listening I mean you know uh, assuming a three credit hour course uh, that would mean you'd have to take six courses. Uh, to 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 meet that requirement, and then um, Adam, maybe talk a little bit about the the work experience because again, I really see this uh, program at um, an opportunity for uh, uh, folks who might be in the military or in um, uh, in in uh, safety uh, type related fields, um, whether it might be you know police or fire or. Uh, or emergency response, or um, any of our, you know, our military uh, personnel, um, because again, I think that um, y- you know having um, a baseline um, understanding of of those kinds of things or activities would be helpful in in terms of then you know uh, integrating, if you will, the technology piece of it all as it relates to just the fundamentals of. Uh, of security and safety and, and, and those kinds of things. So maybe you could talk a little bit about that. Yeah, absolutely. You, you hit the nail on the head in the sense that this is really meant to be a, a bridge program for those folks that have prior experience. So this would be geared towards those that are currently working in information technology that want to expand their skill set or they want to specialize and go into cybersecurity specifically. So they have that generalist background in IT, and now they want to specialize and get specific knowledge in cybersecurity. Um, It's a great, uh, in my opinion, a great bridge program for those that do have 
uh, military experience and, mm-hmm. and more specifically IT experience uh, in the military because they have a very strong security mindset um, in that field. So there's going to be a lot of similarities between what they experience there um, and in this program, and they can solidify that in the form of an earned credential, um, you know, an associate's degree with us. Um, so I think you're right. I think this is a great bridge for folks that have a generalized IT background, those that maybe had some type of security training, whether it be in the military or previous field. Um, I think it's a great bridge program for those folks. Yeah, no, I mean, I, you know, as I, as I, as I, thought about this program you know over the years mm-hmm. um, you know we used to have a program a criminal justice program that we taught and um, you know cybersecurity is you know criminal justice kind of um, you know just through the use of technology and and again I think there's you know there's things that uh, folks are doing because again everybody's got a handheld device these days and everybody not everybody but but a majority of society you know uh, communicates through some form of handheld mm-hmm. device and and many people now have computers and and um, you know and, and other devices uh, you know a, in their homes and 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 folks are um, able to I think um, uh, learn programming skills uh, or programming languages um, you know, probably easier than that at any other time before. So, um, you know, I think that uh, there's a, a confluence of factors that are coming together, right. you know, that really make this a program um, that's very fitting for the times. So we're speaking with Adam Fate, who's the dir- Director of Learning and Design at YTI Career Institute. I also want to throw out the website, yti.edu, if you want more information. Classes are coming up and starting in March, correct? Um, so classes are starting March 20th, and uh, we are super excited for this program. Uh, we think that uh, this is uh, going to be a very uh, unique program for us, and uh, in in terms of targeting those um, you know folks from the military, those folks who might be veterans, um, as well as folks who are in uh, security uh, and safety type operations today. Right. So. Um, again, I, I, I would encourage folks to your point, go to, go to the website, uh, yti.edu. We are going to, um, uh, have some other material there that folks can take a look at. And, uh, this program is a hundred percent online. So, you know, students will be, um, interacting with us, um, uh, in an online format. So, right. so de- depending on where you live, uh, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. You can yeah. access it from anywhere. Adam, I did have one question though. So with it being sure. with it being virtual and being online, um, I would assume there's still some some programs that you're going to be using, you know, to give people the actual experience of, of doing what they'll be doing in their profession. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, as as Jim alluded to, it's a very robust program, very robust curriculum. Uh, so there was a lot of effort that was placed into designing these activities and the material. Um, So most of these classes are going to have simulation products uh, that the students will use in addition to the other activities that they'll do in the class, um, which will actually simulate either the applications that are used within the field of cybersecurity, um, even the hardware, uh, the software. A lot of this is scenario-based, too. So part of cybersecurity is doing investigation, looking at different details of scenarios and trying to figure out what happened or what may happen Mm -hmm. in the future. Um, so these folks will be spending a lot of time in a simulated environment. And again, these are simulations of real world applications and hardware um, and procedures that they'll see in the field of cybersecurity. Wow. Yeah. It sounds exciting. It's like being, it's, a, by yeah. being a sleuth, you know, well, um, it, well, you're it a just, cyber right. sleuth. Cyber sleuth. Yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Absolutely. So, so, yeah. so, so Adam, maybe talk a, a little bit for our viewers and listeners as well about like what jobs, what do the job titles look like? Um, so when you yeah. know, because again, I mean, our our whole goal here is to, is to provide the relevant education and training uh, uh, for these uh, prospective students, uh, who uh, our ultimate goal is to get them a job in in, in the field of study. So uh, maybe you can just uh, share that. Uh, what are, what are some of the titles or that we currently seeing that students might end up uh, filling when they when they graduate from this program? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It seems like we're adding a new title every single day uh, within cybersecurity because it's, it's booming so much. We're just creating new occupations pretty much on a daily basis, it seems like. But primarily, uh, what this program will train folks to go into is an analyst role. And there's several different analyst roles within cybersecurity. There's just a generalized cybersecurity analyst. Uh, there's threat intelligence analyst. 
Uh, we also have something called a security operations center or an SOC analyst. So mm-hmm. it's a lot of analyst roles. Uh, we also see these folks uh, potentially going into information assurance roles, um, go, uh, compliance and governance roles. Uh, network security engineer is uh, one of those up and coming um, positions that I would see these folks moving into after completing this program. There are jobs out there. That's the message. This is yeah. this is a career yeah. that you know you're going to get a job once you're once you're done with this education. Right. And the flexibility of it, the fact that it is online, uh, it's just a win-win. And again, the start date is coming up in March. Yeah, March 20th. March 20th. So we want people to go to the website <laughs> yti.edu, check out that program or any other programs. And Adam, I just got to say, you know, hats off to you, Jim, and to your entire team. I know this is a process, and it sounds like you've got it down, and you're going to offer prospective students, like you said, that great bridge program that can take them to the next step in their career. So thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Yes, thank you. So, Adam, you know, being a cybersecurity analyst really transcends almost every industry, right? I mean, you can go into financial services, um, insurance, um, law enforcement, m- law enforcement banking. manufacturing, banking, um, you know, really anybody who has exposure, um, you know, I guess effectively to the internet um, would be yeah. would be a candidate uh, in terms of, you know, electronic transactions, as well as, you know, websites. I mean, it's just, it's just, you know, we live in a digital world now, so it really transcends yeah. um, every every possible industry and sector within uh, our uh, our normal daily lives. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's really any industry that connects to the ne- to a network um, and and retains data, and that's really pretty much every industry at this point. So you're absolutely right, Jim. It's everything between the private and public sector. Yep. Right. Right. Well, this was great. And again, hats off to the entire team at YTI Career Institute for, you know, spending so much time and energy. And I love the fact that you talk to people that are experts in the industry to make sure that you're, you know, you're teaching these students um, what they need to know for the future of Mm -hmm. technology. So again, go to yti.edu if you'd like more information. So Adam Fate, I want to thank you again for being on this program, for sharing with us all the exciting things are coming, coming up March 20th. You got it. New start. Go to yti.edu. And of course, we couldn't do this without you. So we want to thank you for tuning in to this edition of Inside Career Technical Education, and we'll see you again next time.